Hey, good morning, everyone. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Hey, the refreshing air is finally going to arrive during the day today. Uh, not so much really cool. It will be a little bit cooler by about three to five degrees from what we've been experiencing the last week or so. But the main thing is the air will be drier. And you really notice that at night because dry air under clear skies cools off quickly. And so when you get to the morning hours, you're down into the 50s over the next three or four days at least. We'll show that to you here in just a moment. Uh, some places had some decent rain. Some places had just a little bit of a tease. And I'll show you that to you also as well. So here we go. Um, here's the radar. Right now, pretty much most of the rainfall is over. We've got a few specks of showers in the northeast. And as this secondary cold front comes down toward the southeast, hey, good morning, Lisa Moody. Haven't seen you on here in a while. Um, as this cold front moves down, it could spark still a shower or two. William Roberts, what's the weekend look like in Grand Rapids? I'll go over that, but right now I would say Saturday looks great. Sunday could have a quick shower. All right, so here's the satellite, and what you see is you see the showers, but you also see a lot of cloudiness and then a clearing line. So I think as we get into the afternoon, we're going to have more and more sunshine, and that's also a sign of drier air. This is the radar totals. And one of the advantages of Doppler radar is it can add up all the rainfall. And so you could see around the Ludington, Manistee area, uh, last night, inch and a half to two inches of rain. But like I said, some places just to tease, we shift southward toward the Grand Rapids area. And you can see how the rain northwest half of Kenton County, better rain than the southeast half. And then down toward the Lansing area, uh, you know, not much. A couple of hundredths to maybe a tenth or two tenths of an inch. Hey, Lucinda Dreadnought, thank you very much. And Sue Franklin, hi. In Frank, uh, or Farwell, I'm sorry. And Vaughn B. Gick, good morning. Is it going to rain around Southgate today? I would say no. Uh, anything today is just going to be a quick, brief, isolated little shower. Uh, this is, again, the total rainfall from last night, and you can see into the southeast. That's where the rain really ran out of steam, and you got just about nothing. All right. Here's a... a kind of an extended look at what's going on. This is tomorrow, high pressure out here. That brings us the northwesterly wind. That brings us the drier air. And then as we go into Saturday, it high pressures over uh, Lake Michigan. That's a beautiful pattern with a relatively light wind pattern. And then here comes our next cold front. And that would be coming through. This is midday Sunday. The cold front's coming through with a scattered rain shower or two. And then the cold front moves through and we get another dry air mass. So again, we've got some great stretches of weather. And if you're looking for a good rainfall, the next chance would be on Tuesday. Both the European and this U.S. model is showing this. Uh, Rita, how's the forecast look for the soccer game in the Big House Saturday, Ann Arbor? Excellent. Starting off in the 50s, upper 50s to 60s in the morning and warming to about 80, 81 with sunshine where the sunscreen. So it won't be oppressively hot, but it will be warm in that sunshine. Sun still has power. All right, radar forecast for today again. And I think what I want you to get out of this is that there is a, a brief shower possible, but that's about it. Hey, good morning, Tonda. All right, temperatures, high temperatures, a touch cooler, but the main thing is lower humidity, and I'll actually show you that in the morning or temperatures, okay? So here we are today, high temperatures, we'll call it, uh, oh, 80 to 83, southern part of the state. Northern part of lower Michigan starting to cool off, mid-70s, and in the UP, low to mid-70s. Tomorrow, Friday, wow, how about that? Upper 70s, southern half of lower. And Saturday, about 80 degrees. Sunday, maybe tack on a degree or two. Thank you, Vey Ingram. 
<laughs> Linda Mitchell. All right. Uh, Sunday summary, Monday, and then again we go back into a little bit of a cool down. So we're looking at great weather, and again, I think the morning temperatures, morning low temperatures, a great way to see how we're going to cool off. This is tomorrow morning. Uh, 60 in Detroit, but 55 in Lansing, 57 in Grand Rapids, uh, 51 in Grayling, 53 in Traverse City, uh, four upper 40s, Western UP. Now, Saturday morning, look at that. Temperatures mid-50s, upper 40s. Sunday back to about 60 degrees. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, point being is, you're probably going to be able to ditch the air conditioner at times, especially at night. Get a good window fan or get some circulation going from outside into the house, and you will definitely um, cool off some, it looks like. All right, someone's asking about high school sports practices. Really, for this time of the year, it's great because, it, you know, it could just be hot and humid. We're going to have low humidity, and that certainly helps um, kids athletes stay cooler of course they got to drink the water stay hydrated but as far as weather goes pretty quiet we could use what we could actually use is a one widespread one to two inch rain across the state and um, you know let's have it coming in the middle of the night now right now the next widespread rain is not in the offing until about Tuesday of next week otherwise just this fantastic weather continues. One of my buddies in Chicago, meteorologist Tom Skilling, he put out a little post. He said that Chicago has started with its with its sunniest stretch of early August weather ever. Well, in the last 88 years, like something like 80% sunshine. And I kind of feel like we've had that here in Michigan too. So enjoy the sunshine as it comes here to Michigan later today. Enjoy the cooler, drier weather. And have yourselves a great Thursday. I'll see you back here tomorrow for a weekend update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.